Hi everyone, in this video which is part of the Node.js how to series, I'm going to be showing you how to create a TCP server, TCP server. Now do note that this is a TCP server and not an HTTP server. An HTTP server operates at the layer 7 of the OSI model but this is just layer 4 stuff. So we're going to be creating a TCP server with Node.js and to begin I'm just going to create a new file, a new Node.js file and call this server.js. So we have server.js and once we have that I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio Code. Now that we have our project opened up in Visual Studio Code, we can start to write our server. I'm just going to open the server.js file and to create our server we're going to require the Node.js core net model. So I'm just going to say const net equals require net. So now that we have the net model, we can go ahead and create our server. To create our server, let's create a const and say uh, TCP server. Let's call this TCP server. And then we're going to say net and call the create server function of the net model. And this function, we're going to open it up. And the first argument that will go into this is a callback for the TCP socket. Callback for the TCP socket takes the socket argument, fix this, and let's arrow this up. So here we have a hold on the socket, and we can set up all sorts of events or call functions on this socket. I'm just going to console log and say a client just connected. Client just connected so that when a connection is made to this server, this callback will be called when the connection is made to this server and I want to console.log that a client just connected. Then on the server or on the TCP socket rather, I'm going to listen to the data event. To, going to listen to the data event and provide a callback to this data event. This data event is fired or triggered when the client sends data to this server. When the client sends data to this server, that's this client that is connecting with this socket, sends information to this server, this data event is going to be raised and we can do something with that data. So I'm just going to say, um, I'm just going to call it client data. For the client data. Now is this Client data, we're just going to write back, use the socket to write back to the client and say something like client sent client data. Just return a string containing the data that the client sent, write it back to the socket. So we'll save that. Now we have a TCP server but we have to make it listen on a port and a host. So we're going to say tcp server dot listen. And the first argument will be the port number that will be 5000. And our host. Now this 5000 is just one of the allowed port numbers that I can use. You can use any port number you want in the range of allowed port numbers on your machine. So our server is going to be listening on port 5000 and um, our host to be localhost, which is this machine. So I'm just going to save that. Then I'm going to go to the command line and run the server. We're just going to say node server.js. We don't get anything back and the terminal doesn't return, meaning that our server is now running. So I'm just going to open another tab to connect to our server. To do that, I'm going to use the netcat utility. I'm just going to say netcat localhost. 5000. We're going to connect to our server running on this machine on port 5000. Hit enter. We, as you can see, this also doesn't return. And if we go to our server, we can see a client just connected. So we have successfully connected from this terminal to the server. Now watch what happens when I send data. Let's, let's say I type something like my name. Um, just going to say Fikayo. And hit enter, say client sent Fikayo. If I type welcome to dev talk with FK, 
clients and welcome to DevTalk with FK. So as you can see, we've been able to create a TCP server and we can send data to this TCP server and it's going to write that back to the connection stream. You're going to write back a response to our data that is sent. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And for more videos on how to do stuff with Node.js, please subscribe to this channel so that you can get a notification anytime I drop one of these videos. Thanks for watching.